blood spilling, bone chilling, towering terrors in one twin thrill show, The Crawling Thing. In case you pass out, that's tough. <laughs> After the success of The Ring, the door was open for more remakes of Japanese horror films. Today, we'll be looking at another successful film of that era, 2004's The Grudge. The Grudge is a remake of the Japanese horror movie Juon The Grudge from 2002. To keep it simple, the grudge is the story of a curse that forms when a person dies in extreme negative emotions such as anger or sorrow. It appears to people in the form of a spirit. If you come into contact with said spirit, you die. The plot of the film is told through non-linear storytelling, using a lot of flashback techniques to reveal various details and twists. I really enjoyed the ride, so I'm not going to spoil the full plot here, you'll just have to check it out for yourself. The Ring and The Grudge are often paired together. They have a lot in common, as both were remakes of Japanese horror films that came out around the same time. The spirits even fought each other in 2016. Just like The Ring, The Grudge became a really big horror icon of the 2000s. It gained multiple sequels and also had a prominent role in the Scary Movie series, this time being part of Scary Movie 4. Personally, I have to say that I think that The Grudge is a much better movie. I can still remember kids at school talking about how scary it was, and while of course I never saw it until much later, I have to say I think it holds up pretty well. It's scarier than The Ring, with plenty of solid scares and iconic creepy imagery like the hand appearing in the shower. This is owed to the studio actually getting the director of the original film to direct this as well, so it's fair to say that none of the original vision is lost. It's also worth noting that horror legend Sam Raimi produced this. He sure has come a long way from the days of the Evil Dead. The movie also owns up to its Japanese origins a lot more by actually being set in Japan and featuring several Japanese actors. The Grudge is a pretty good movie on its own and stays true to its source material, almost too close. With bringing in the original director, setting, and having a largely Japanese cast, it's essentially the same movie with some American actors. It reminds me of how Godzilla King of the Monsters from 1956 was just Godzilla 1954 with an American actor thrown in. It begs the question, why even remake it? Remaking foreign films for English-speaking audiences was a trend for a while, but with the popularity of streaming making films from all over the world more accessible, and the mainstream success of anime and films like Parasite, it has since become a thing of the past. American audiences are now much more interested and open to watching something foreign and are now able to do it on demand. With that being said, the 2004 version of The Grudge is still a solid movie, and I quite enjoyed it. You can't go wrong with whatever version you want to watch, so take your pick. Pleasant nightmares, friends. <laughs> Good midnight to you.